Push your limits. Nothing breaks that I cannot mend. <laughs> Yo guys, so this is a Overwatch game that I just played just a moment ago with two friends of mine. And it was really fun. It was really cool. I felt like I was all over the everywhere at a somber towards the end and it was actually insane. Anyway, let's have a look at this development going. I feel like I've got to commentate this now too. Alright. So they res the uh, Arissa and we thought, you know, we'll, we'll go on this. I thought they've got a ball of an Arissa. This is perfect. I love this Sombra. I wanted to get out of here because they saw me. They tried to shoot at me. I probably shouldn't have been that open. I go for a virus, playing a little bit like a sniper. You know, just long range. I think it's really good to engage long range like that. And if you want to chase up on a kill, you can. I knew he was going to the, do this, so I just thought, you know, I'll catch him. I thought he might do it again. My hacks almost some cooldown, off cooldown. He probably just didn't get up there. Hacked the Arisa so it couldn't do what it did. The hardening thing, I forgot what it's called. Sorry if the game volume is really quiet, though. I don't know if it is. We just, you know, send a virus out there, let the team do its thing. I'm here to back up the hog. I was also coming in here to hack the health pack, but I thought oh, I'll gauge in this first. I see the Kiriko's low, but I, I, I'm a little bit too slow, I miss it. I know the Kiriko's around somewhere, but I figure I'll go for this while it's here, because the Kiriko's low, someone else on the team can get it, or she will TP up. I ping them to let them know that they come around the corner, because my Roadhog was thinking about, like, you know, they tried to spray just then to keep them off point, just in case. I ping where they're at. I hack that health pack for later in case someone wants to walk past. And I'm like, okay, well, while I go from the back, I could get this junk rat. Just change one of these. Luckily for me, like, the whole team didn't turn around and just knock me out. I thought they're going to go for a res. I could have waited until the res and then hacked them. Or I could have just shot them. Uh, I went somewhere in between. I just hacked them early and then shot them. I go for a hack. I'm like, okay, that looks like an ult or something. I'm in trouble. Let me get out. Don't want to get seen here, but also a nice cheeky KO would have been good. Before they get healed by something else. I figure while I'm going up and down here, I may as well hack it. And while I'm revealed, I'll stay in place anyway. I'm like, okay, this guy's by himself. Time to go in. I'll go for this on their, you know, thing to make Kiriko's ult kind of useless. Might as well go around the long way, get the health back again. I got detected this time, so I'm like, okay, well, look, this engagement didn't work. I need to just get out. I accidentally uh, popped my invis there, I think. I wasn't supposed to do that. And then at this point, I'm like, okay, guys, we need to get on that payload because it's not moving. I wasn't sure if I should hack it. I figured, well, look, I've been in that situation a lot of time with Sigma, where he just, I want low health at that sort of range, and he shoots a ball, an orb, and he just, he gets me. This time I'm hacking him just so he can't get a, a barrier for a second. A little bit of extra damage. I probably shouldn't be hacking Sig there. It's more important to probably save him in case he goes for an ult or the suck, that thing. The, you know, the gravity vacuum of space. Right now I'm just trying to charge my ult, do a little bit of damage from afar, spread that virus around. I'm thinking, okay, what's my next move? What's the team going to do? I'm like, okay, I'll go up there and try and get this Kiriko. Turns out they wall climb before I get there, so it wasn't quite the engagement I was looking for. I hack him so the wall goes away. And I tried to jump out before Junk got me, but I guess I stepped in a trap. I didn't even notice that. I just thought the TP was a bit slow. Or the TL. Yeah, we'll call it a TL, Translocator. I hacked that. Remember, I'm the red team, so these are my teammates, right? Blue's the enemy for me in this game. So I'm just like, okay, a little bit more damage. 
I don't want to be spotted and shot at. I know they don't have a widow or anything yet. I see my teammates, I'm just going to walk past them. Walk past them a little bit, out of sight, again for the enemies. Hack that for my teammate, let them know it's there. I apparently engaged in a bit of a weird time for my tracer, by the looks of it, but at least we engaged together. Junkrat's pretty low, so he's normally a good target to go for, but Six jumped and start front. Here, I want to hack him, but this actually gets in the way. So I could have stopped myself from dying there, but I couldn't. Because, yeah, I just... <laughs> it was a really awkward, weird interaction. And I got EMP, I think, just as that happened, or just after I died. Honestly, with the wall out, I don't know if it even would have murked. Here, I'm like, okay, well, my hog's up here. I could engage with this guy, I know there's this here. Now that my trace is on it, we can engage together. It didn't really matter. I probably should have just shot instead of trying to hack. But I thought, well, if you can't run and you can't put down a heal thing, then that's good. Sigma again, within that range, Sigma's not a really good matchup. He's gonna just try and shoot me. Here I'm like, okay, I can almost, almost. Let me try and get over here and do it. And I'm like, okay, he's too much health. Let me go for like the mercy or something. Again, I'm not secure in the kills, but I'm still put, putting some pressure on. And they're not turning around to do anything with that. You can see, I, I was really afraid of... I was thinking about getting out of there before I got the kill on the soldier. Because I was in a very vulnerable position and could have died. But I decided, look, I'm just going to try and get it... If, if we both go down, that's whatever. But I can get out of situations a lot faster than soldier and stuff too. I was expecting to peek, and I thought, well, I don't want to take that direct line of sight with Soldier. I'm just moving around to see if he's going to shoot in this direction sort of thing. I'm like, okay, I can get him by myself. But I didn't realise that the rest of my team had died. Um, I don't think the rest of his team helped there. I think my translocator was just a little slow. And also, it's easier for him to get headshots at that angle, I guess. Thought about hacking that, thought, eh, doesn't really matter. What am I doing here? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, well, Kiriko's not that good, Mercy's good, my teammate's saying, you know, try and get the support, so I'm like, yeah, you're right. Mercy walked back a little bit too far. Sigma's there, I'm like, may as well hack it, apply some pressure, go shoot at him, you know, just play the back and forth. My health isn't that high, let me get out. I was hoping one of my teammates might have healed me by then, but they were in front, not behind. I thought, I didn't really look to see where they were. I tried to ping that, I couldn't really get it. I'm just like, well, we'll need to sit back and regroup, so I'm saying fall back. I'm hacking this guy to apply pressure so it gets it off my teammate. And then I TP out, so that soldier's got no targets for that ult, which is really, really good, I think. Hack that just for the teammate to use, if they use it. I'm pinging the Kiriko. The soldier's going up to try and get it. They TP, I'm like, okay, well, ooh, they just got the res, I could have stopped that, but I didn't realise it was happening. I'm trying to get the virus on junk here, but he's strafing a little bit strange. This is fine for me, I'm just going to apply pressure to shield while I wait for the health pack. Do a bit more damage so that this guy complains about his barrier. Hack this, I'm saying to the team, I hacked him, he stopped, whatever. I'm just trying to apply more pressure here. I'm like, okay, let me just cancel out your ult a little bit with mine. Not completely or anything, but... Get some more off angles. I know, you know, two, three, their major players are kind of gone. I know I can chase up this soldier because he's gone this way. Although there's two of them here. I'm thinking, okay, I can kind of do it. I know this health pack's right here. It's beautiful. I actually use this health pack a little bit, little bit later. Just applying pressure. My heal is healing me. It's beautiful. I can shoot behind the shield rather than into the shield. Again, I don't like standing right in front of Sigma, so I'm trying to get out. I'm like, okay, I may as well go for the Mercy rather than the Sig. He's not paying attention either. And I saw the Mega that was up. It's just seeing where you can TP to, I think, is the big secret with Sombra. And sorry if my voice sounds a little Sombra, by the way. Um, it's just, I've been playing for a few hours and it's pretty late at night. This is just a more chill... How it's going? I'm pinging this guy, letting the ping know. I know there's Mercy's here, I'm trying to try and reach for her. She got stuck on the wall, that's really upsetting for her, but that's great for me. I'm just trying to touch point, 
And I want to get out here, but I wasn't quite fast enough. Oh, it wasn't on cooldown. There we go. That'll do it too. I didn't really have a good plan for going out that direction. It's just, you know, do something, get in. My teammate right there, you can see against the wall, just said that they DC'd in the last 20-something seconds, and it's like, oh, that's really upsetting. Um, actually, can we go back a sec? I'll go back in a moment. I want to see how much ult charge my teammate had as well. My friend was doing so well. And I'm like, okay, well, the whole team's here, I'm going to contest. I missed the virus, which is pretty crucial. I know she can get a headshot, and that scares me. I'm just contesting EMP, get you know a bunch of damage down on them, and see if the teammates can come in because EMP removes 30% of their health. They got a big res on their Kirika. I didn't even notice that. That was it. So all in all, really quite a close, good game. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Um, yeah, if we bring this bar up, how what's what's the Arisa doing on our team? 91%. 92. And then they leave around here, right? Yeah, now they're stuck. Dang, look at that. They would have had that ultimate for the fight and it could have completely changed the tide, but... Hey, look, internet connection is weird. Oh, yeah, the reason I TP just then is because I got discovered and I didn't want to be discovered. I went for this health pack because I wanted to get it before the last few seconds went off. Um... And you'll see. Like, they've got the whole team here as well. So, honestly, it's amazing that my team managed to touch. It's amazing I managed to hold on for so long here. If I had have come around and seen... If I was able to come get the thing come out here as Mercy was coming out. Look, that could have been a different game. Um, if I had have just gone through without getting the health pack, though. Mercy could have just killed me herself, you know. Or maybe... Uh, this Kiriko is definitely a big threat. When you're playing Sombra, I'd say Kiriko is not a good matchup at all. I would almost never take that, to be honest with you. Uh, unless it's right behind you. Unless you're right behind her, you get the virus on immediately because you're like, point blank. And then you go for some headshots. But even then, she can still TP away and just remove it and not care or cleanse it. Cleanse hacks, you know. like She is very much like anti-Sombra tech. Mercy, however, very fun, very good to chase down as Sombra. And a good Mercy is really hard. Like, if they're flying around in the air a lot, and they've got their Valk and stuff going, like, Sombra is having a hard time shooting them down. Even if she hacks them, Mercy can still float if they're in the ult, you know? And a hack's only going to keep them grounded for a second or so, you know, before they're able to fly again. If they're not in the ult, so... It's a... Yeah. Hacking a Mercy when they're rezzing feels so good. I honestly don't hack enemies anymore. I, well, I try not to. Uh, this video, I probably hacked more than often. More than I usually do, a little bit. But hacking, I think now for Sombra, since it doesn't increase damage or anything, is just a cool... Uh, like a, It's like a big intervention tool, right? It's like, okay, uh, you see Orisa using their ult, you stop it. You see Sigma going for an ult, you stop it. You see Ryan charging your teammate from a bit of a distance, you stop them from charging your teammate. You know, uh, you won't normally stop a Shadow or anything. If you stop a Lucio from ulting, that is the biggest cuck I've ever seen. That is the biggest stop. It is really sad, actually. <laughs> and probably not even timed. Um, Junkrat, even if you hack him when he's using his tire, it's not going to stop anything, by the way. But it's, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty important point to mention. But you can just go up to Junk and you can shoot him while he's in his tile, as you would be able to normally a Sombra. Um, like I said, with Sigma, Sigma's fine. Just kind of, you know, shoot down barriers, play this, this uh, sniper-ish sort of game by just going for viruses. You can definitely, with tanks i found, you can just, you know, TL straight through them. Um, just translocate straight away through them, through the barrier, go to the other side. They don't normally have the reaction time to do too much. Um, but a, a lot of, you know, TLing is just getting to the high ground. It's like, oh, there's a mega. I mean, there's not one, right? But pretend there's a mega in the middle of this thing, right? And you're over here. You just all of a sudden 
you know, you're in combat with this person, and then you turn and you jump straight there, you get healing. If you've got pretty good accuracy with it, and you know exactly how far you're going with the distance, you can just, you know, jump straight onto a health pack of sorts, and that's going to heal you. And that's going to take away the opponent's uh, advantage on trying to heal from that same health pack. So that's a little bit of tech that I use. It's jumping straight onto a health pack a little bit more like Tracer, rather than hacking it, putting the TL down, and then just, you know, coming back and forth like you used to. Tracer is also a great target for hacks. Um, you know, if she's around the team and she's trying to get you from the re uh, the back, and the team's there, she is great to just hack so that, you know, even if you're struggling to cap catch her a little bit, at least the rest of the team should be able to do that because she won't be able to TP. Uh, she won't be able to blink for a second or a moment or something. At least the player's gonna feel disrupted by it. It won't be feel as natural. It's gonna be a bit weird to work around. And that second might be the chance you need because the health pool is so little as well. It really helps um, and stops the recall for a moment. But yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend always hacking. Like, generally, you just want to be shooting at enemies first. You want to, well, you want to shoot the virus out. You know, a bit of a snipe shot. Maybe engage after that. Like, you could definitely get a virus on someone, especially if they're alone. If if any targets are alone, right? Like, they're great, obviously, to go for. Um, but if if you can snipe someone, like say that red person, right? The, the tracer is like the only player on the team here, and I'm versing them, like. If you manage to snipe them with the virus, you can just TL straight in there, right? Right next to them, just give it a bit of a spray. Trace is probably going to go down um, with you know other things like soldier and whatever. Uh, if their cooldowns are off, you know, especially their heals, like you just same sort of thing. You hit the virus from far away. You jump in. You try and go for some headshots. You knock them out. Like it's, it's really good. It's really useful. Um, of course, that's why you want to do it when they're vulnerable, right? And why why they're by themselves and you generally know where the rest of the team is or they're fighting you, your team. Sombra is a very one-on-one -on -one character and likes to win those matchups. Actually good against Hanzo these days-ish, right? Because you can jump on, you can get snipe the Hanzo from a distance, get it like a fair chunk of health down and then go in for the engagement and that's really nice. Um, or you can just, you know, go straight up to a Hanzo then start shooting them. Do a fair bit of damage if you think they're locking onto you, right? They're tracking you real well. Blink out, uh, not blink, but TO out, right? Just get a bit of space. And you can go in and out, like, you could go strap to a hunt. You, you, you can be in Viz, go up to a hunter's face, shoot at him, then blink, uh, well, we'll call it blink for now. Blink over here, get the health pack, re-engage again, you know? Carefully, because they might, you know, reveal you over here, but by the time you blink and go get, get that, your stealth is already starting to come on cooldown again. Which is fantastic. I don't see this staying in the game as much as I desperately want it to, because Sombra actually feels good for, like, the first time, and I've been playing not good Sombra for many years. But, um... Yeah. That's... That's my take. I could talk about Sombra all day and how, like, there's lots of good matchups and not good matchups. Um, but, look, a lot of it's just snap with a virus a little bit from afar and then engage on that. Play back with your team and just shoot them and look for opportunities. Um, it's pretend to do that for a moment, then go around, then look for, like, their weaker support at the back. Try and get those. Again, Kiriko, not a good target. Lucio's fine. Look, Lucio can be a little fast, so if you have another teammate in the area with you, that's when I'd take a Lucio duel. But you can just do it outright if you want to. Uh, Frog has been saying that like Lucio is really good in Sombra because you can just speed. She can only go so far. He'll catch up. Um, so if you're with another teammate, then I'd go for Lucio, or if Lucio's already at half or something. Or if you just can time whether Lucio is going to come around the corner and then you throw out a virus, like that also can work. 
also if there's just like you know three enemies or so two or three like in a row like this right and you see them darting back and forth like you may as well just throw a virus in this direction where they seem to be darting in and out of and weaving because it's bound to hit someone and that's still free alt charge and that could be the right target and if it's not it's fine it's still free alt charge it's some damage and they still have to try and kill that off um, Anna, Anna you can actually take, especially if you know the cooldowns are off, um, but if you get there fast enough and they're a little unaware, you, you can take that. And if they sleep you, look, if they mess up on knocking you out, you can just also TL away. And I'll kind of just leave that there. Because, yeah. Diva is a good engagement though, I will say. You can just hack Diva during Defense Matrix. She feels like she can't move and she can't defend herself. Not as good as it used to be, but still pretty fine. And you can do damage to a big target. Makes it really easy. Especially if she's isolated or the, healings, the healers aren't healing her or something like that. Uh, Roadhog, you have to take on with a team generally... Or if, I mean, if Frog Dog's isolated, you can make it work as well. But generally, if you're with working with a team, you can take down a Roadhog because you all just fire into the one target and that's how you get rid of them. But this is, you know, pre-Roadhog change nerfs, buffs, whatever. So, that hasn't come into it yet either. And Genji's not too bad. I mean, you can hack him during Deflect and, like, that's pretty good. Because then he can't jump, he can't dash, he can't, you know, save himself. And usually he's using deflect as like a defense. So. Yeah. And Moira, look, she can just fade when you put a virus on it. So you may as well wait until after a fade is the best time. But even if you do land a virus on her, like, it's, it's still... It's going to force her probably to use a cooldown. She'll get scared, she'll go like, ah, and then she'll fade away. And that's when you can chase her and pursue her further if you wanted to, if you've had a good engagement, if you've had a bad engagement. Just get out of there, you know, it's fine. Because she's already probably used Fade. What's she going to do, throw an orb at you? Sure. <laughs> Just don't put yourself in a crowded room like this here when you know there's a Moira out there. All right? You want to probably take a different route out. Or if you do somehow get out, I, I wouldn't recommend just translocating because that's a little obvious. Unless you come out, I'll, you know, just a tiny bit and then go back, say, to over here. Where you can jump into relative cover, right? Because over here, we're basically getting to a little bit of cover. Like, there'll be some shots that they could take at us, but it's not as open as over here. And I'm pretty... I'm not that high rank anyway, so it's fine. At my rank. At higher, higher ranks, you know, you, you don't want to be doing that, I suppose. You want to be walking out with your team, tank. You, you'll have other ways to get around. But yeah, when, once you go in Viz, though, ooh, you just want to take routes. Like, you want to be watching where they are, where their line of sight is. Like, if, if they're all in this main bit, right? right? Right just here. And they're shooting into the spawn. You don't want to walk just out of spawn, right? You want to walk around the long way. You want to go into probably this entrance. Um... Or if you feel like no one's watching, like you could just throw a TO over here and try and run past, I guess, but nah. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Summer is really good and fun. Chunk is easy to enough to 1v1 now. A few characters are pretty fun to 1v1 as Sombra. Um honestly it's pretty hard to deal with a Sombra sometimes. Another Sombra, obviously, is, like, pretty alright. Uh, I don't know. Like, Soldier doesn't have a bad matchup against uh, Sombra. Junkrat definitely does, so I wouldn't pick Junk. Anything slow isn't the best matchup with Sombra. Like, if you're trying to fend off a Sombra. Uh, Zen Yada isn't great unless you've got really good reflex and you can just turn around and, you know, shoot them. Um, but you want to stick with the team and you want them to peel back and actually help you. 
If they're not doing that, you probably don't want to be playing Zen anyway, I suppose. Huh. What are these cars up here? Anyway. That's the vid. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you later. See ya.